All right, so here we go. We're ready to get going. We're on our 100.0 branch. Uh, chances are we might not get off of that in 100. Uh, essentially, the dot zero dash zero, our branch is dash zero. The numbers will coincide with the videos and the lessons to try and help us understand how we're using the branches and how we're moving along. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. And um, we're just going to do a little bit of maintenance up top here and I am going to do some copying and pasting. You'll have to pause the video and do the uh, updates yourself and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the HTML in the, the header and what we're going to put in there in the head and what we're going to put in there is just some, uh, some code to uh, complete the head and get ourselves rolling. Um, commenting up here, we want to say that this is step 100.0 and uh, inside out project and then of course we want our, our uh, website address up here and in this case it's 1xx.8 inside out project.com for me for you this will be different and we'll go ahead and check out there's our doc type our HTML is signifying English um, basically to let browsers know and let uh, search engines and other things know that the site is in English we're not going to do too much in the body uh, we are going to make sure that we put the viewport though in the head uh, that really important because that is what allows us to uh, have it show up in a device and allows us to pinch it and to use responsive which we will add in there after a while uh, we'll put our title in for inside out html and now we're going to start doing what we're going to do quite a bit in this class which is go borrow code i'm going to hit save and by the way when i hit save you can see my file changed colors because i'm in git view um, if I come out of Git view into uh, file view, it will not show that. I like to be in Git view because it shows me what my branch is that I'm working on. I make sure I'm not working on master. We don't ever want to be working on master. So we're going to go ahead and go after our first piece of uh, code that we're going to borrow, and that's going to be for our header. And if you notice, I'm going to start copying here where it says script and I'm going to come down through and what this is is this is a header that resizes when you scroll has a nice look and feel to it good foundation for what our website's going to look like and we're borrowing it from a site called bootsnip.com and we're doing exactly what the site was intended for which was to share and borrow code from each other uh, to try to um, position ourselves for what we would call rapid development so I'm going to come into the HTML code and I'm going to grab this script in the closing head. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just grab everything down through the footer. And I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back to my code. And I know that I grabbed the closing head tag. So what I'm going to do is just from the closing head tag down, I'm going to paste that code in that I borrowed. And then I'm immediately going to go and clean it up just so that it looks good and I can see what I'm doing and how things are going. Um, you can see it doesn't always do a great job, so always good to clean up your code, keep your code nice and clean so that you can see exactly what you're doing all the time through the indentation, through using the indentations. I'm gonna save it. And we can see that all this code down here has um, been saved. And if we actually go and we view uh, a live view of it, we can see that our code's in there, but we don't have any of the formatting uh, because we did not bring over the JavaScript or the HTML or the CSS yet as of this point. So we'll go back to view code and let's go back out. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's take the CSS. We're not really focused on CSS in this class, but it's important to point out the fact that what this is up here, this is a reset. Browsers have default CSS styles, 
and sometimes they get in the way of what you want to do and a lot of people will actually go in and just reset them and so basically what's being reset here is the background is being set to transparent the border is being set to zero margin zero padding zero vertical align baseline so basically what it's asking the site to do is to not put any spaces or margins anywhere uh, by doing this we'll go ahead we're going to grab this all this code let me scroll up so you can see so we basically have it all we're going to copy it we're going to go over into our Dreamweaver and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call that assets and inside the assets folder we're going to create another folder called CSS and inside that folder we're going to create a new file called style uh, actually let's call it header dash resize dot CSS eventually we'll bring all this together but it's kind of nice especially when you're borrowing code to go ahead and uh, separate it out a little bit uh, so that you have better control over what's going on and, and troubleshooting a lot of times you can end up bringing some pretty wonky code over the other thing that I'm going to do inside here is uh, inside my CSS file is I'm going to go out and I'm going to grab this link and in the bottom of my CSS file I'm going to add this link in there and the reason I'm going to do that is so that I know uh, where I got this code from I can always get back to it and um, it's just a good practice to do this and I'm also going to go ahead and grab the name as well now if I ever need to get back to this code I can get exactly back to where I want it to be I'm going to hit save and I'm going to close that file out we have no no need for it anymore um, but what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to include that into our head so that we're pulling the styles in and hopefully if we got things right we're going to be able to see right away the results and if you notice I did put in um, a comment above it you should always be commenting your code so that you know what's going on um, I'm gonna hit save and if I go to view now let's see if we get something and we do all the styles have been applied um, and so our now our next thing and you can see also in Dreamweaver because we linked this CSS file in you know these red they're basically saying do you want to revert back to what you did you just hit save well you usually just hit save but sometimes you just gotta ignore them they're a real pain um, anytime you link a file in it'll show up up here in the order that it's linked in and you can actually click on it and you don't have to keep going and opening up files you can actually just work on all your files right from one place so the next thing that we want from this uh, from from the site is our JavaScript the JavaScript is uh, basically what will change the size of the font, the header, allow it to shrink, and um, call different through using CSS classes that are in the file. Definitely worth exploring. At this point, we're just going to select all, copy, come back to Dreamweaver, and in our assets folder, we're going to create a new folder and call it JS. And inside of that, we're going to create a new file. And that file we are going to call header resize JSS. I think I said JSS. It's just JS. If you notice, it started treating it like a HTML file because I created it and stepped away from it. That's okay. It has the JS extension. Um, I pasted the code in there. Looks good. I'll go ahead and clean it up. Clean code is always good code. And I'll save that as well and close it. And at this point, I can go ahead and I can 
copy that into, well, you write it. I'm going to copy it into the bottom of the body. And if you notice, uh, one of the things, uh, not so good, if you notice, one of the things that we did when we copied and pasted is we actually got rid of the HTML and body closing tags. So make sure that you have them in there. And um, so we'll close the body. And then we'll close the HTML before we do anything else to make sure that we don't screw that up. And we'll save that. Again, I'm going to format my code as usual. If you notice, the indentation came out a lot nicer at this point because it was missing those closing tags and I wasn't sure what to do. Now that we have our header resize, which is what we set out to do here, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to link that in to our document, into our HTML document. And uh, I always try to keep consistent with my commenting and things like that. So. Um, one of the things that you'll see me do is just kind of copy the comment from above because they are together and paste it on over top of my script just so I know and put in JS use for header and body of page and we'll hit save. Now we don't have any um, jQuery loading or anything like that so it's not going to work uh, as of this point, it's still just uh, CSS being applied to the page and it really it, what it needs is is to have the um, the libraries which we learn about in this lesson uh, to call the functions. So there's actually functions inside of their code view. I'll get there sooner or later. And we're going to save that work. And at this point, because it looks good, I'm going to sneak in a quick commit. This is optional, but I'm going to sneak it in. And I'm going to look, and I'm going to do a get status. I'm going to see that I have some, well, my index HTML was modified, my assets are uh, have some additions in there. And so I'll do a get add. Get status again just to see what happened and you can see everything's in green now and it recognized the header and uh, uh, CSS and uh, JS and so we'll go ahead and we'll do a commit so we'll just say laid out framework of index HTML page and added header resize code enter and now that's committed. So that's our falling point. And if you look, when we come back out here to Dreamweaver, all the colors went away because we are now, that is where we are now positioned on the branch. So now we want to bring in the libraries that this code uses. Um, we talk about that in the lesson and um, class as well. And so the libraries that it uses, we need to go back out to the HTML because we saw that it was linking uh, different libraries. And those are up here. And the first one that we saw that it's linking is Bootstrap. And we also saw that it's linking jQuery and it's pulling in the Bootstrap CSS and it's pulling in Bootstrap JS. It's pulling in jQuery JS. We're going to go and get those uh, libraries. We're not going to use these here. We want the newer versions, and we also and we also want the ones with the integrity check as well. Uh, the integrity check prevents people from getting in between and manipulating JavaScript as it's headed to the browser. Uh, so to get our Bootstrap, we'll go ahead and we'll go out to Bootstrap, and we'll grab it right from their download page. Um, getting started and we're going to grab the like I said the latest version and we're just going to go ahead and copy the bootstrap CDN um, <coughs> links we'll go out to our Dreamweaver and we'll start down here um, and we'll paste that in there we're going to put our JS down below 
And the reason we're going to put our JS down below is because we um, we want the JavaScript to load last, and we want it to be in the bottom of our body. We always want to put our JavaScript whenever possible in the bottom of our body. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put our Bootstrap up top. I don't think we necessarily have to comment it. Um, we know what Bootstrap is. We know what we're pulling it in for. And we'll go ahead and apply source formatting. I like to put a little space in here. I like to see what's going on. And down here as well. We look good. If we save it. Um, we might start to see some differences here if we go out to view mode live and we take a look and there we go even without jQuery uh, we have this working and part of the reason that it's probably working is because I believe the bootstrap itself is pulling in jQuery um, we should actually double check that but to play it safe uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go out and take a peek and look and see. Usually Bootstrap JS does run off of jQuery. So I believe for they've actually started pulling in jQuery with it. So for now, we're actually not going to go and grab the jQuery. We're going to let this ride the way that it is because of the fact that uh, I believe with the newest version, it's just pulling it in. We're going to um, <clears throat> go look at our project in Chrome. We're going to open it up. And if you notice, not a good idea to, to watch it this way. Uh, but for now, we're, we're good. But really what we should be doing is local host. And I believe actually we already have that open. So let's go look at our local host. And if you look, our local host 1x, if we refresh it, there is our code. There is our working header. And everything is great. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's just update our information before we actually go and do a commit. And I think we're going to do a commit and merge at this point and call it a feature completed. Uh, so we want to just finish up and clean up and let's go into our code and let's go into our source. Let's go up here and we're going to go ahead and just put in some filler text, get rid of some noise. Uh, make things look a little better. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to add inside of the uh, the section container. We're going to go ahead and just add in there the rotating panel colors. And I believe that they were white, then blue. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue. So let's go ahead and let's do it like this. Let's set the container. This one is white. The one that is color is blue. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Blue. That's for fun. actually just go ahead and get rid of these extra ones. I think that's enough to make it scroll. The whole idea is that we want it to scroll and we want to see the different color representations. So I believe that we have enough to achieve that. I've got to select this, get rid of the sections and save. And then up top, we want to change our title inside of um, our head to just for now inside out save it let's go take a peek in uh, our local host and there we have it awesome so at this point we're gonna go ahead uh, you know what we want to get rid of that link as well so let's go ahead and get rid of that a while get rid of that info bar And we're going to replace it soon enough, but let's not go putting other people's names out there. They might not appreciate it. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave that like that. Go take another peek. 
take another look. And awesome. So before we go ahead and move out, I'll just do one more quick peruse of everything. Everything looks great. Everything looks to be working fine. And at this point, all right, so this looks good enough. I think we are ready to go ahead and do a commit. Go ahead, do a get status, see our changes, do a get add, and now we'll go ahead and do a commit, and we will say, we have completed the header resize functionality and are ready to merge our new feature into production and we'll hit enter and awesome so the last thing that we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and push our branch up to GitHub and then we'll do a merge and we'll do that in a, the next video. So at this point, you should be committed. You should be able to run a git status and all should be clean. And so in the next video, we'll go ahead and push our branch to GitHub and then we'll do a merge into master. See you in a bit.